done is Anna here with my process video for hip kit club I will be using July hip kits uh, I think I will use uh, most of them uh, I picked white background and I will be creating a heart uh, banners on my page uh, I used uh, it's a Tim Holtz a hard cut file very old one and a big shot machine uh, I cut uh, many hearts using pattern papers from the main kit I also used some uh, cardboard pieces from the cardboard kit uh, I picked white background because I will use a lot of colors and patterns but I don't want it to be dull so I am creating a splashes using a colorful mist the um, mists are from uh, shimmers the pink one and the orangey yellow one I am using right now are from the color add-on kit there is also some nice uh, green color included into this kit uh, and this big <laughs> pink splatters wasn't intended but uh, it's not a problem I will cover it with the heart um, I picked my uh, and arranged 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 my hearts previously because I don't want you to see all my struggles here on the video because the video would last like an hour <laughs> I think so I just grouped my banners and they will um, look like that um, I will also add some some uh, hearts to this banner because uh, when I started making it, I decided I need my heart to just um, go over the edge of the page uh, so it will look more like a piece of a banner than the banners just added from the line to line. I hope you know what I'm trying to say to you. Uh, I will trim the excess uh, heart pieces uh, from the edges of the cardboard. And now it's time to glue my heart. I'm only adding a little a bit of glue on the upper side of the heart because I will stitch them using my sewing machine and I don't want them to lay flat. I will lift those pointy parts of the hearts and thanks to that my uh, design will be uh, more dimensional and dimension is what I really like when I'm creating that's why I'm adding a lot of cardboard and a lot of um, 3d foam squares so I'm just applying a glue to each of the heart I missed the a picture because I'm not gluing it with the glue I will use a double sided sticky tape uh, and I will also sew it, sew it on the sewing machine. Um, I'm just adding uh, one uh, strip of uh, tape and thanks to that you can lift the picture and sew the banner under, the underneath it. And my banners are ready. I sew them uh, three times for the each banner so I went one side forward and one side mm, and as you can see I am trimming the excess part of hearts uh, thanks to that my banners are more like a piece of a bigger a banner uh, are looking like a piece of a bigger banner I am not sure if it matters but I like it more that way but if you don't want to do that you really don't have to it's like um, a personal preparation if I can say like that in English and now the funnest part adding some embellishments and I am digging through the uh, hip kits and as you know hip kits are really 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 
uh, filled with a lot of embellishments so it's so much to pick from uh, uh, first I started from Amy Tangerines on the Wim ephemera pack I chose the donut uh, the uh, glasses and some smaller pieces uh, I'm not sure if I will use them all first I just narrow down the choices so this is the thing uh, I think I will you those are the things I think I will use and now I am thinking about the title. I'm a little bit chaotic, chaotic in my process because first I started picking embellishments, but then I decided maybe I will add a title first so I will know where I should place my embellishments. That's why I went uh, for some alpha stickers and uh, each kit, like embellishment kit, main kit and project life kit, are always uh, comes always with some alphabet stickers and I had the blue and, um, and dark grey uh, stickers uh, from the main kit and embellishment kit but I decided to use those fun uh, stickers from I think it's Chimel collection but I am not think maybe I'm not sure maybe it's uh, Dear Lizzie they don't write the names of the collection on the stickers and I decided to create a sweet thing title I chose the pastel colors because there were also navy colors but I didn't want them navy didn't match any of my uh, banners mm, I am adding two 3d foam squares to lift my picture and as you can see I am roughing the pointy parts of the hearts so it will not lie so flat and now time for embellishing again <laughs> and I added this little yellow piece it's from the exclusive chipboard stickers and I am looking through them right now okay and I am missing now I am back again mm, uh, I am looking through the Amy Tangeries on a Wim sticker book it's from the project life kit and those are transparent transparent stickers so they look really well on the white background not so well on the colorful background but uh, the easy way to adjust them is to just to glue them on the white cardstock and just fussy cut them and it's time again for the chipboard uh, stickers they are from embellishment kit and they were designed by Kim Watson and they are just gorgeous I want to uh, have a lot of them because they are filled with summer themes like ice creams flamingos and cacti and as you can see I have only few of them left but I am matching them to my page using stars flowers some little elements and and what I'm doing now okay I decided to add a foam squares under, the, under this piece because you know you know you never can have a lot of dimension too much of dimension those are epoxy stickers they are also exclusive and I'm not sure if they are in the embellishment kit or the main kit but I'm using only small elements like hearts um, I noticed that I tend to use only smaller elements from all the stickers, stickers and whatever I have. Um, and the same is with ephemera packs. Uh, I love uh, all the new Maggie Holmes and Chimel and Pink Paisley ephemeras, but for me they are usually just too big they look perfect as uh, dividers in many albums but uh, when you are making a layout it's really hard to um, to use them somewhere on the page because for me they are just too big and i am back to the exclusive uh, wood veneers from the main kit i am adding more flowers and some glasses I thought that they will they will match the theme of the page as my daughter has these strawberry glasses on her face and I'm just trying this wow but no 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 it wasn't a good idea and the thing I am holding in my hand are uh, our puffy stickers they are also exclusive 
and I am back to Amy Tangerine stickers. I decided to use this flamingo. I am not sure why, I just like the flamingos and they are pink, so they are perfect, the perfect bird. And I also use the ice creams and I'm adding uh, flowers uh, also because I already added some chipboard and wood veneer flowers. So I will just uh, spread the flower team. It's a girly page, so flowers are really a perfect idea. And I will also add uh, leaves. Uh, to my uh, wood veneer flowers because I have some loose leaves in, in this uh, sheet uh, sticker book so as you can see I added one leaf and the second one I'm trying to use as much uh, of the stickers as possible because I know I will not come back to them soon because as I said they are transparent stickers and I am not a white background person. I like white backgrounds, but I usually add so much color that uh, you can't really see the stickers over the page. But I think I must challenge myself uh, on using the whole sticker book on some page or mini album. And I think my page is almost done. I'm looking for some small elements. I like the palm trees. And I think I have to use them somewhere soon because the summer is almost over. Uh, oh yes, the pineapple. Pineapple is also a good idea. Always a good idea. And that's it. That's it or not that? Yes, that's it. My page is done. And here are a few close-ups uh, of the page. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Sorry for my English. Uh, and I am leaving for my summer vacation soon, yay! So I will be back on September with some new video for you. Thank you for watching and see you in September. Bye-bye!